Hi, my name is Dr. Amy Doneen, and I'm going to give you a couple of expert tips on how to recognize just facial features that someone may be at increased risk for cardiovascular disease in their lifetime. The first one I'll talk about is called Frank's sign. And Frank's sign is so interesting because it has to do with a very small but very recognizable diagonal earlobe crease in the earlobes. And you, once you start looking for this, you will see it. Um, but do you know people with Frank's sign, could be male or female, one side or the other, and as we age, we lose collagen and so forth, so as we get older, it becomes more prominent. But do you know people with Frank's sign have a 78% increased risk of having coronary artery disease? in their lifetime. Another fun one for you in the world of dentistry, when you bring your patient back and you sit them down, you might see little fatty deposits on their eyelids um, and, and under the skin perhaps. Um, if you personally have any, um, they might be on your tendons um, and of your Achilles are called xanthomas. And people who have xanthomas have a significant increased risk for things like familial, familial hypercholesterolemia um, and even metabolic syndrome or metabolic profiles. There's another one where you can even see Fordyce granules on the inside of the cheek. People with Fordyce granules have an increased risk of metabolic dyslipidemia, so really high triglycerides and um, uh, low HDL. So if you see those, you want to start asking them about it. And the last thing I'm going to tell you is what normal blood pressure is. Historically, it's been 140 over 90, and that's no longer the case. Normal blood pressure is under 120 over 80. Anything more than that starts to accrue risk from a micro and macrovascular standpoint. So by the time you get to the old cut point of 140 over 90, you're actually in stage one hypertension. So keep that in mind as you're measuring your blood pressure and uh, your patient's blood pressure. Oh, one more fun fact. Um, people often ask me, are you okay with the wrist cuffs? Do those really work for blood pressure? And the answer is yes when done properly. So when the patient has their legs uncrossed or sitting square um, on the chair and the wrist cuff is placed and the wrist is right at heart level, it does take a really good reading. If the wrist is, wrist is held too high, often that may give a lower reading. If it's held too low, it might give a false elevated reading. So as long as it's here, um, it gives a pretty good reading. So those are some fun tips to take home with you today.